Friends, welcome back. It is a glorious Lantern year for the people of the Red Keep here and Big Deno Plays Kingdom Death. We're on Lantern year 21. Uh, we're about to go hunting ourselves a level 3 Spider Achilles because why not go hunt some spidery goodness? Um, at this point, uh, I think we're probably pretty comfortable with any level 3 monster. Maybe barring a Lion God, but we'll consider that. Uh, at this juncture, we're going to try and... Um, yeah, we're going to try and... <clears throat> uh, smoke this guy. Uh, and make ourselves a, a web silk outfit thing. So, uh, let's take uh, some survivors. Take you through the survivors. Alari is the only one who I'm concerned about her safety. <laughs> um, she's got... Uh, most of our support gear, so she shouldn't get hit um, in theory. Um, she's got plenty of evasion, but she doesn't have much else. So she's going to be trying to stay safe. Uh, hopefully she can um, yeah, nom nom some some other people's things. Um, we're going to also take uh, Olena. Uh, we're going to try and get her dagger proficiency, uh, get ourselves an iron, sure, get dagger specialist, whatever. Um, not a big deal. <laughs> uh, and she's going to be using uh, a few different things. So we've got that monster, the hooked claw knife, um, which is going to be pretty strong. We haven't got the ability activated. Uh, you need four, four things to activate it. So we don't have that, um, but that's okay. We just wanted uh, the dagger specialization and mastery. So. That's all. Um, we've got a hollow point arrow as well, which is super cool. We've got a claw head arrow. Um, yeah, we're going absolutely glorious. So let's depart now. Uh, oh, yeah, we've got Belwas. He's just using the leather set plus a hazmat shield and a sleever. This is a grand weapon master. I figured since he's already got the heavy hazmat shield, he might as well take the heavy sleever. It doesn't really matter. And Yara, she's wearing our super cool... Uh, evasion slash lantern slash everything set. So let's get into it. We're going to depart. Uh, we've got some awesome rules. Uh, we definitely don't have... Oh yeah, Yara's got 10 insanity. So she's going to do a gracious host. Uh, we've also got the shrine. We've also got a couple of other things to do. So uh, Elena gets an extra thing because she's a constellation. Great. So let's do uh, a gracious host. Surely we're going to get the necromancer gear now. Surely. It's on someone I don't want it on. Yara! <laughs> uh, she can afford to take it. She's a four. Ah, uh, there we go. If your settlement has innovated sacrifice, we have proceed to death's embrace. Archive the... Uh, Knowledge Worm, and we gain ourselves the Necromancer Secret Fighting Art. Which is cool, cool, cool. Um, so we'll archive that innovation. Uh, what's it called? The Knowledge Worm. Get rid of that. Boom. Done. All right. So, uh, yeah, the Necromancer Fighting Art's not actually that much good to Yara, really, uh, yet. Unless we go fighting another Lion God. Uh, so does she have any symbols? I don't think she does. No, 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 no. No, no symbols on her. That's fine. So the next thing we need to do is all survivors gain uh, a luck token, because we're heading out uh, very luckily. We're very lucky. Excellent. And that's it. So. Ah, uh, yep. Shrine. One armor. One armor. One armor. One armor. And then also Yara. She has uh, three added to all hit locations with metal armor. One, two, three. Boom. Let's go. Yara. So we shouldn't, we shouldn't die via... Um, damage at this point. 
what we should die by if we're going to die is bleed tokens. So we're going to stay on top of the bleed tokens. Level three spider coolies. Elwas, Olena, and Elaria. All right, let's start with Elaria. The way is narrow. Oh no. Wow, if we return to the settlement before fighting Spidicules, that seems bad. Uh, each survivor rolled 1d10. Let's determine a straggler. Uh, Elaria. She rolls a 4. Uh, Olena. She rolls a 10. Belwas. He rolls a 6. And Yara. She rolls a 10. Of course, it is the one person I don't want to be in trouble. She gains a bleed token. <laughs> And she is removed from the straight from the hunt event. Cool. Uh, the next hunt event. So Alari is missing. So we're going to do Olena on this one. Uh, cave in. Any survivors wearing heavy gear? Well, unfortunately. Uh, Yara is indeed wearing heavy gear. So she suffers the concussion head injury. Starting strongly, one bleeding token and a random disorder. Just as long as she doesn't get Vestophobia, he says, as he's about to draw Vestophobia for certain. <laughs> I worked so hard to get that lantern cuirass. Honorable, that's okay. If any survivors are not wearing heavy gear, nominate one among them with the highest courage. Uh, Belwas has a heavy gear and Olena has a heavy gear. We'll send Olena, I guess, because I don't really want Belwas to get the thing. Uh, actually, everyone's got heavy gear. Uh, they're not wearing it, though. That's one of those dumb terms. I'm just not going to do it. I don't want to do it. Uh, Belwas does this event. 47. Boom, boom. I thought we had another gambler going on there. How could that have been? Banquet trees. We have a sickle. It is on Belwas. We are done. Yara into this hunt event. 99. Oh, we don't have the key. No. Stupid. Poor colours. 27. Oh no. Man stealers. Choose one random male survivor. Well, I've only got one. It's... Oh, Belwas is actually a dude. Well... He was supposed to be a dude, so he's a dude. Belwas is the only male survivor. Does he have the unconscious fighter art? No, he doesn't. Uh, roll a d10. He rolls a five. Chomped his genitals off. <laughs> oh, he's got no nuts. That's funny as... Uh, well, that gains him three insanity. One, two, three. Go to bleeding token. Everyone's got bleed tokens. This is a bad start. I'm glad we've got sonorous rest to remove them. Uh, all right, that was our fourth. So we miss, we can't do Ilaria. She's not included in this now. So we've got Olena to do this hunt event. Surrounded. Oh, no. Each of the other survivors. So who's got the highest hunt XP? It is Olena. Oh, this is bad. She's going to take a severe leg injury. Uh, well, there's only two other survivors. A four plus. It's not an 18. She's suffering a severe leg injury. No, Olena. Um, all right. It's minus two. So it's effectively a minus one on this roll. 
Yucky on the legs. Yucky. That's a four. I think that's a broken leg, isn't it? Seems bad. Dismembered leg. Oh, hang on. Has she got pristine? Yeah. Gain the bleeding token. That's that's just tremendous. I love that. All right. Bellwast takes us into the overwhelming darkness. Oh, what is that? Oh, that's the tree. No, we don't, we won't we won't do the tree. Oh, that's cool though. Well, we know it's a random hunt event there. Uh, oh, it's the forest. I forgot it's the forest gate. Damn. Uh, okay, so it's not overwhelming darkness. Test your gate. Dun 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 dun. Test your gate. All right, well, we're gonna do a begrudging welcome. Um, which is a three. Uh, so, we'll take a minus one attribute token on everyone. We're gonna take minus one strength because we literally have no need of strength at all uh, in this hunt phase. Uh, at all. Um, so that takes us to six, so we need two more. So we'll put a bleeding token on... Uh, someone gets benefits from bleeding tokens. Who's that? Elena? Uh, no. Belwas? No. Yara? No. Uh, we'll do a bleeding token on her for two. And a bleeding token on Belwas, sure. Uh, so we get through the gate. It's a begrudging welcome. Survivors force their way through the gate. One, two, three. Wonderful, wonderful. We've tested the gate. We're through the gate. Thank you. Um, all right, tricky decisions now. So we know this is a random hunt event. Uh, it is Yara. We are going to do our herb gathering and our sonorous rest. So let's do, uh, yeah, let's do that now. So sonorous rest, unfortunately, it's not going to apply to Ilaria. Um, so we'll do Sonorous Rest. So we're going to remove that Bleeding Token, that Bleeding Token, and that Bleeding Token during Sonorous Rest. We're going to gain uh, Insanity. So it's going to be 1, 2, 3, plus 1, 2. We're going to gain 1, 2, uh, 3, plus 1. And we're going to gain 1, 2, 3, plus 1, 2, 3. Uh, so the war room lets us recover damage done at a hit location. No one's taken any. And remove the token. And then storytelling lets us do a dice roll. We roll a one. Nothing happens. The play is terrible. Awesome. Uh, herb gathering. Uh, so there's only three survivors. So they're just going to gain uh, one survival to begin with. Three survivors will roll three dice on each. Uh, nothing. Nothing. Uh, 20. One survival and a fresh acanthus. We care not a jot. We just wanted that survival. All right, so at this point we have a random hunt event. It's a 34. We're not going to the tree. 34, submit. Crippling misery. No one has a straggler. Oh, sorry, no one has anxiety. Uh, so, Elena, two. Belwas, eight. The other one, Yara, too. So it's Elena. She's our straggler. 
Oh my goodness, she suffers the broken leg severe injury. Why is everyone having such a rough time with their legs at the moment? <laughs> uh, don't think she can avoid that. No, nope. broken leg. This has been a tough hunt phase. All right, let's just my movement four on her. Awesome. And she does not have binge eating. She gains an understanding. All right, 200 events to go. Uh, we're back to the start, it's Elena. Lonely Bridge. We're inching our way across the silk, no problems, because we have combined courage of seven plus seven plus seven twenty-one. We're fine. Uh, final one is Belwas picked clean. Um, da -da 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 -da. I think we'll just roll a random hunt event. We don't really need the weaver at this point. Random hunt event thirteen. I thought that was going to be 14 for a second there. 14 would have been just glorious. Overload. Oh, jeepers, Belwas. It's not that bad, mate. He loses 1d10 survival. Guaranteed we'll roll a lantern 10. Oh, 1, 2, oh. 1, 2, 3, 4. And then we have... Except the darkness, he's also going to gain a random disorder. Oh, that's fighting arts demo. Don't give him one of those. <laughs> All right. Well, we're on. We're on for an interesting time, friends. Weak spots. Great. I like that disorder. He's weak at the waist. It's probably from where he got his genitals destroyed. <laughs> uh, probably where his genitals got punched. Uh, does he embrace his despair? He does a six plus. Gain one understanding. And the rageaholic disorder. Cool. All right, we made it friends, we get there. <clears throat> At the uh, end of this showdown phase, does the some of the brave let us remove uh, bleeding tokens or is that only attribute tokens? I feel like it's only attributes, let's check. Song of the brave. Um, song, song of the brave. Get one negative attribute token. Okay, cool. So it's just Sonorous Rest that lets us do that. All right, well, we're definitely going to be using our bandages twice. Let's have a look. Boom. Here we go. Two random terrain cards to start us off. Let me just grab out the Silk Nest. And the egg sacks. Then we gain a survivor corpse. How singularly unhelpful. Oh, how many is it? It's two random terrain cards. Cool. And the second one is. Oh, that one is helpful. A giant stone face. Put that down here. What is it? Four spaces away from board board Five spaces, yep. Okay, so I'm gonna go there. I'm gonna go there. Uh, who's got the bandages? You do. Okay. Uh, so we have Everything set up. Cool, so just oh, shuffle.
couple of these bad boys. Cool. Uh, we get 12 of these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Great. We get seven of these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Great. We get two of these. Boom, boom, boom. I want you in my room. All right. Who's excited? Let's fight a level three spider. All right. Well, I think we're good to go. Uh, just one couple of things that occur. So, Belwas at the showdown. Uh, because he and... Alaria are both partners. He gains up to the max survival limit. Um, he's also quixotic, so he's going to gain a strength token. Fine. Uh, Olena. Nothing for her. Alright, so Alaria has got our biting of things. When do we do that? Once per showdown, you may eat an adjacent survivor's disorder. Which disorder do we want to eat? Uh, probably... Honourable on Yara, maybe? Uh, let's actually eat Destined on Elena. Cool, alright. So, we're going to start... Uh, who do we want to be the target, actually? Just in case. Elaria's Evasion 7. Yeah, so we'll make it Belwas. So he can be our target for the moment. Okay. Here we go. Boom. So at the start of the monster turn, he performs Spawn. Little idiot. Um... He's speed 16, toughness 12. Toughness 12 is so pathetic. All right, basic action. Boom. Hypergenesis. All survivors suffer monster level brain damage. One, two, three. Fantastic. Perform spawn, all survivors in the zone of legs, which is no one. Replace each egg sac tile in the zone of legs. There is not any with a spiderling. Cool, that's a good one. So at the end of the monster turn, we do a spawn. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, we're underway. So let's let's just get rid of some bleed tokens while we can. So the most critical urgency is uh, where's our bandages? Yep, they're on Elena. So Elena's going to use her surge to clear off her own bandages, and then she's going to surge. Uh, I'll use her act rather. Uh, to clear off his bleed tokens. Great. Uh, so that's her act done. Sorry. Did that slightly wrong. It's her surge that was used. Cool. Elaria, she's going to... Um... Th 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 
she's going to um, use her rawhide thingy. One, two, three. Necromancer's eye. Oh, the trap was on top. I hate that. <laughs> well, it's not on top anymore. Boom. And she's going to move one, two, three, four, five. Uh, five. That's her act done. Um, Yara, she's going to dash and surge to get up on the thing. And at that point, she is going to have a shot. What do we want to use? We'll use the... Uh, she's got three luck. Wow. Um, I think... Yeah, we, we won't worry about the hollow point arrow yet. It's irrelevant for this particular fight. He's too fast. He's speed 16, so... Um, we won't worry about the claw head. I think we're just going to shoot him twice with the ink blood bow. So when you're up on top of there, you get plus two accuracy. That's two hits, including a perfect hit. So she gains an insanity. And great. So uh, we know these two hit locations, the legs and the segmented ears. Uh, so on the legs, we're anything but because she's strength four and the ink blood bow is strength eight. So, so that's a wound that goes under the leg pile. That's a wound. She gains a weapon proficiency point. This one, so she's critting on uh, a deadly. So that's nines, eights, sevens, sixes. She's critting on sixes thanks to all of these things. That's a crit, which is a wound. And because of the crit, he suffers a minus one speed token until it's next turn. Great. Um, awesome. So that's Yara's turn done. Belwas. Strong Belwas, brave Strong Belwas. Uh, oh, he's got Harvestman. I forgot about that. Cool. Uh, what else has he got? Pianist when he... Yeah, cool. Um, he's going to walk to here. I think we're just going to kill some spiders for the moment. Yep, let's kill a spider. Uh, that's a hit because he's plus one accuracy... From wielding a grand weapon, and nope, that's not a hit. Spend a survival. That's a hit. It's a perfect hit. It automatically does a devastating wound to that spiderling. Take it. Take it, you little idiot. <laughs> Alright, that is the end of our turn. Uh, so we shall move on to the next round. Uh, all right, so we perform spawn. Disable, the closest threat in facing in range. Always hits the legs. Okay, so what I think we might do is we may spend a survival to surge here with Belwas. And he's gonna use the hazmat shield for two block. So, Spider Achilles, uh, that minus one speed until it's next turn. Yep, so he's going to move to here and he's going to swing. He's four speed, hitting on a two plus goes to a six plus. Uh, so that's three hits, we'll block two, and then we can dodge one with a survival. Uh, so we don't suffer bleed because his attacks all do bleed and we don't suffer that. That's done. He's done his dodge. 
So the Spiderlings, this one's going to attack him. Uh, they are three speed now. Little chumps, and they do two damage. Uh, but they're only hitting on a four plus, which goes to eight plus. So that's one hit. That's a bleed token. Boom. Uh, one hit does two damage to his body. One, two. And uh, the other one is going to move. Uh, yeah, we'll go on him. One hit does a bleed. Two damage to his boots. All right, so the spider is right here on top of the camera. <laughs> uh, and... Belwas is right underneath it. So, uh, let's think about this. What do we want to do? Do we want to discard that mood to get rid of the bleed? I really do, but... Alright, first of all, uh, we're going to do Elena's act. She's going to move to here. And she's going to use the bandages to clear off Belwas's two bleed tokens. Uh, Belwas is going to swing uh, with the Skleaver on a Spiderling. That's a hit. It's a dead Spiderling, barring an absolute nothing. And he's then going to move to here. He's movement eight. He's moving four. Cool. So he spent his surge, but I've still got my surge from Ilaria. Uh, so Belwas is done. I'm going to do Ilaria. She's going to just stay safe. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, when she's there, she's going to use uh, Psycho Vore. Uh, once per showdown, you may eat an adjacent survivor's disorder. She gains one permanent strength, and they gain a bleeding token, Whoop. and they lose that. So she's also going to use this to just take four, drop that one down, a couple of crits, I like those. Um, so that's Ilaria's turn. Uh, we're going to do a surge from, so we're going to do Yara's, uh, shot with the bow. Uh, that's two misses, but she gets to reroll thanks to... Old fist and tooth or thingy proficiency, perfect. Segmented abdomen. Uh, boom. That is a failure. Uh, full move all spiderlings towards the attacker. One, two, three, four. Uh, full move the Spidicules outside of range of all threats. So before we do that, we're going to do a surge from... Yeah, this was the wrong way to do it. That's fine. Uh, we're going to do a surge from Ilaria. And we're going to do a surge from Olena. So Ilaria's surge... Uh, she may get that back with Rawhide. She doesn't. Cool. So her surge is just going to be the drop. The trap down one more. And Olena's just going to swing with the cat fang knife. Or the hooked claw knife, I should say. Uh, one, two, three. Oh, Olena has a innate speed, so. Cool. Um, she's accuracy six, so two hits. Uh, so this one, uh, that is a wound, it's not a crit, 
Oh, what does she do? What's she got with the dagger? Uh, she'll do faded blow, I should say. Oh, you can attack a monster from its blind spot. Damn. Ah, oh, well, in that case, she would have moved to here, outside of there. So that's fine. Uh, dagger specialist. After attempting... Oh, you may discard another drawn hit location to attempt to wound that hit location again. If your wound attempt fails. Alright. So that's a wound. Uh, should use Faded Blow. We'll use it on this one. That's a crit. Uh, faded Blow. One, two. Okay, so all spiderlings perform spiderling action. One, two, three, four. Towards the attacker. Does nothing. Perform spawn, then full move all spiderlings towards the attacker. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four to there, like so. Uh, and then Spidercules is going to full move away from all threats. So he's going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Nice one, Doofus. And that's going to be the end of our turn, I think. I think so. Did everyone do their acts? Yara did. Yep. Actually, Yara is going to surge. And try and shoot down one of those little... Idiots with a claw head arrow. It's unneeded for anything else. It's a hit. Uh, it's anything but. Kills a little idiot. Uh, yeah, range 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. It's a range 11 shot. So that's pretty, pretty tasty. Cool, that's the end. I'd love to see a mood to get rid of that bleed. Nope. The birthing hour. Closest threat in facing in range no the only threat in range right now is uh, 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 so it is going to be Elena so if Elena was the dash 1 2 3 4 she's here He's going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. He speeds 16 and we've killed one leg. So she can't get away, so that's fine. So I think we'll do that. So Olena will surge to put up a block, which is a block 2. Um, and she has to spend, yep. Uh, and so this doofus goes to here he's going to swing speed 4 she is evasion 0 so it's hitting on 2's uh, we're blocking 2 she gains a weapon proficiency point from last turn. We're blocking two, which means we're hitting two, which means we are doing a spawn. We also had to do spawn at the start of the monster turn anyway. Then full move the monster forward. Uh, he's just going to end up here. Turn to face the most attackers. Facing that way. Uh, then place this card on top of the AI deck instead of discarding it. This little spiderling is going to move in to attack her. Uh, oh, uh, that's three hits. Again, she's not really worried. Uh, so the, oh, the one, the one that we didn't, the two hits, I should say. Uh, body and head. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. That gained her a bleed token. Uh, then. Two hits from the little spiderling. Uh, body and head. Good. One, two, 
one, two. All right. And these other two nuffies are just going to go down to here. Ugh. Uh, she's going to use bandages. One, two, and move away. One, two, three, four. Gonna have to do this the hard way, I think. Uh, Alaria. Take your act. Do those ones. She's gonna stay safe. I can bring her out whenever I want. She's she's not really much danger with her evasion seven, but maybe I will bring her out. Got the crest crown too to keep in mind. Uh, she doesn't have faded blow. No. No, okay. She's fine. So, yep. So, we're going to do Yara. So, she's going to have her shot. Uh, actually, what we're going to do is we're going to do Bellas. Hit with his Grand Weapon Sleeper. That's a hit. It's not a perfect hit, so it doesn't do Devastating 1. We know that this is a super dense location. It is not frail. Uh, we can do a crit here on a... What's Bellwas? He's only one luck. It's on a nine. Oh. Doesn't have any other luck. No. It's not deadly. No. Damn. Uh, all survivors adjacent to the monster. That does a wound. Suffer block. Suffer bash. He's immune to bash. And knock back five. He's just going to go one, two, three, four, five. And then he's going to move one, two, three, four, five, seven, eight, all the way over here like a champion. <laughs> uh, cool. Then we're going to shoot the bow. It's deadly. Uh, two hits. Boom and boom. On a crit. You're going to minus one damage. That's a crit. Thank you very, very much. Does a wound. Ignore that reflex. Do this one. It is a wound. Perform spawn. Then full move all spiderlings. One, two, three, four to the attacker. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Alright, well, uh, he might as well at this point use the hollow point arrow, I guess. Or Yara, maybe. To try and kill one of those spiderlings. I'm gonna get some heat from that friggin' necrotoxins. Um. Yep, we'll do it. Uh, I think I already spent the survival, but I'll do it anyway. Again, that's a hit. Uh, it's anything but to kill a little spiderling. That's easily a wound. Let's kill this one, because it's the only one that can get him. Yara. Okay. So that's the end of that. So we will spend a survival to surge with... Um, Ilaria. Uh, she doesn't get the survival back, but she's just going to have a look at the two next cards in here. See if there's a mood. There's not. We're definitely going to put Pulverize on top. Cool. <sighs> Perform Spawn. Pulverize. Closest threat in facing. It is... Bellwas. So, does he want to put a block up? I think he will put a block up. Using Surge. So, 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. He goes to here. He's going to have a punch. Uh, he's only three damage on these now. He's still four speed. Uh, so these hit on sixes. Uh, that's two hits and two misses, which is good. So he doesn't do this after damage effect. Turn to face away from the target, full move forward. It's going to end up down here. Then turn to face the most survivors. Done. Idiot. 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 Uh, Alright, well he's going to dodge one of these, hopefully. So these hitting on eights. So the first one. Three misses. Excellent. Second one. One hit. He'll dodge. Third one. Three misses. Awesome. All right, Belwas. Clobber some little doofuses. <laughs> That's the end of the turn. Belwas, he's going to swing a little doofus. He hits a little doofus. It's a devastating one attack on a little doofus. He's then movement eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Getting away from the little doofuses. Um... One, two, three, four, five. She'll hit that little guy with her. Um, what weapons does she have? Fists. Accuracy four. One hit. Strength six. Uh, plus. Nothing else. Uh, not a wound. No. Uh, done. She'll spend a survival to surge. Does she gain it back? She does. I'm just going to put that trap down. Again. Boom. Uh, we'll shoot the bow with uh, Yara. Two hits. Spiderling, dead spiderling. Uh, I've never been sure if you have multiple speeds if you hit multiple spiderlings. Uh, I might just check that. I don't think you do, but just checking. Why not? Um, spiderling, killing. No. I think they're all little individual idiots, so that's fine. Um, one, two, three, four, and block. Uh, actually, she may. Yeah, there's no bleed, no bleed. The only person who's got bleed is Yara, so hopefully Yara is a okay. All right, that's the end of our turn. Monster AI card, we're going to perform a spawn. Arachnophobia. Oh, that's right, this one's bad. Perform spawn. No one has tiny arachnophobia. Uh, he goes to here. Everyone suffers brain damage equal to five. One, two, three, four, plus a brain trauma. That's a four. Flee, you are knocked down and suffer knockback equal to your movement towards the board edge. Gain 1d5 insanity, that's five. One, two, three, four, five. Perfect. Um, Olena. One, two, three, four, five. Belwas, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Perfect. Now little buff heads go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. All right, little buff head on Belwas. Uh, one little guy on Belwas. 
Miss, miss, miss. One little guy on Ilaria. Uh, of course, one little guy gets a hit on Ilaria. She'll just dodge that. Does she get a survival back? She does. Um, she's used her dodge. And on Yara, the actual one that matters because she's got three bleeding tokens. Two evasion. Oh, yes, we'll dodge. <laughs> Okay, definitely need to get some activity happening over there. Uh, that's the end of the monster turn. Uh, Ilaria, I think we already moved those cards down. So she's just going to go and attack that spiderling. Uh, two misses, good work you. She's just going to go one, uh, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, one, two, three, four, and then she'll dash. One, two, three to here. Uh, and then she'll swing with the cat, the hooked claw knife. Uh, two hits. One and. Oh, she's actually got an extra speed. Because <laughs> that was two ones. The two is going to hit though, because she's accuracy six. And the two is going to wound because she's strength 14, 13. <laughs> Did that the hard way, didn't I? <laughs> Jeepers, two ones. Don't like that. Um, all right, Belwas, Belwas, Belwas. Um, he's just going to swing and hit the idiot in front of him. No, he's not. He's going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 to there. And he's going to swing on the monster. He gets a perfect hit, which means this next wound is a devastating wound. That is a wound. Uh, the spider killies moves. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100, 101, 102, 103, 104, 105, 106, 107, 108, 109, 110, 111, 112, 113, 114, 115, 116, 1 Nine's a dead spiderling. Uh, that's the end of our turn. We perform spawn. Uh, yep. Monster AI. Yeah! Fuck off, bleed. <laughs> Fuck off. Full move the spiderling directly away from spider killies. Target suffers grab. Yeah, fun. Uh, all right, well. Perform basic action. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. He should be in range because he moved full away. So if we go to there, actually what we might do at this point is we're going to spend a survival to dash. Uh, away from the monster, which will cancel that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Harvest Man, here we go. Now these little guys go one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. All right. Good. Okay. Uh, hit locations. Using Ilaria's turn. One, two, three, four. Great. Legs galore. Um, and then she'll just go one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. And she's going to use her bandages to recover two wounds. It's her turn done. Um... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's do it. Get in there. Have a swing with the... Uh, that is not a hit. 
because he doesn't have uh, nope that's a miss uh, he'll surge uh, oops come on Bellas yeah devastating it's a devastating wound it's anything but ones Anything but ones, it's a devastating wound. Good work, Bellas. We like that. I've made these legs difficult to hunt, haven't I? Can't believe I got the legs on a level one. Uh, cool. And that was a, uh, yeah, legs, great. Uh, so we'll then shoot the bow with Yara. He's done, Yara. Reroll thanks to bow specialist. Uh, three's a miss. We know it's that. We know it's anything but. We know that's a wound. We know that goes under the leg pile. Outstanding. Alright. Uh, we'll spend a survival to surge with Ilaria. She doesn't get it back. Just going to drop that trap down again. Top four, legs, legs, legs. Okay. Perform spawn. I'm gonna run these spiderlings away. <laughs> this is so good. All right. Uh, oh, it's hallucinogenic fangs. Oh, gain a random disorder. That's terrible. I do not enjoy that at all. Uh, when it comes into play, perform basic action. Basic action targeting Belwas. I'm going to spend a survival to surge. Um, I'm not going to... Uh, yeah, I will. We'll put up a block. Uh, to hit him, sending him on sixes. Well, that makes it seem unfortunate. <laughs> then spiderlings go. Uh, yeah, so at this point, I'm going to spend my survival to dash. Bellas. Running rings around these spiders. One, two, three, four, five. He just goes there. I don't think any of the spiders can get to him. Heh heh heh. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. He's still got his block up. Which is no good because that ends now. Uh, let's do Belwas. He's going to swing with the uh, cleaver to hit. Is it a wound? It's a critical wound on a leg location, which does nothing. Um, but it does do a wound. And then he's going to move. One, uh, one, two, three, four. No, he's going to go back here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Get out of there, Belwas. Get to safety, son. <laughs> uh, we'll shoot the bow. Reroll, two hits, boom, boom, wounding, boom, wounding, boom, one wound, Whew, it's been a mission, two wounds, okay, then uh, we're going to spend Olena's right, turn clearing off the bleed tokens from there. Polaria's is going to go one, two, three, four, five to here. She's going to use the hit location deck. Top four. Let's drop that bad boy down. Haven't even had to use my uh, crest crown yet. 
cool ability though. Uh, and then I'm actually going to surge with Olena just to clear off Alaria's bleed token so she's absolutely in no risk whatsoever. It's the end of our turn. It's a monster AI card. He's going to perform spawn. It's going to go here. Pulverize the closest threat in facing. Uh, so we do have one, two, three, four, five, six legs down. So that means he's speed eight. Uh, or speed ten. Speed ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep, so he's gonna go after Yara. Move and attack Yara. Four swings. Yara's evasion two, so he's hit on four plus. We'll dodge. <laughs> Thank you. Don't do the after damage. Turn to face away from the target. Full move forward. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Turn to face the most survivors. Done. So this guy's going to go one, two, three, four, five, or four. One, two, three, 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 four. Harvest Man, how good is that? How good is that ability actually? I'm so impressed with it. So let me just think about this. So, one, two, three, four. She's going to swing with the hook dagger. Don't need to remove bleed tokens. Uh, one hit on three ones. <laughs> and we'll tap that off with a one as well. She'll surge. <laughs> Can you stop? Can you stop? Thank you. Perfect hit. Thank you. Just, I just want you to kill one spider. It's not that hard. Harvest man. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Sit down, doofus. He will swing. She's at her turn. He hits. Uh, we know that it is this. Oh, it's a one. Damn. We don't get the tricky four legs. We're not going to get a ball. He'll surge. He hits. We know it's this. See if we wound him. It is a wound and it is a crit. All non deaf insane survivors so that's everyone bar Olena gain one survival we gain a serrated fangs resource the question is how far away am I one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. We're in range to shoot from right where we are. We will do so. Uh, we'll actually do a Laria. Just going to put the trap at the bottom. And then she'll move. One, two, three, four, five. One hit, it's a perfect hit. Not relevant, two hits. Boom, boom. No failure. Take a wound, doofus. Reflex. Oh. That's not a crit, it is a wound. All survivors adjacent suffer knockback five. One, two, three, four, five. Perform spawn. This little guy goes here. We do a wound. At this point, we're going to surge with Ilaria. Does she gain her survival back? She does. She is insane. She is going to reshuffle the hit location deck. Wow, the Crest Crown is unbelievable. I've just basically... Slow played the shit out of this guy. This is so good. Alright, well, that's the end of our turn. 
Uh, so it's a monster AI card. He draws. He draws the bleed card. <laughs> That's so dumb. Uh, perform a basic action. One, two, three, four, five. He goes there. He's swinging four times. Uh, we're not going to surge. Uh, you know what? We might surge to put up a block. Yep, we'll surge to put up a block. Just in case. Miss, miss, miss. And miss. Outstanding. Great decisions. Spider. So this guy's going to go... Did I do spawn? I don't know if I did. I'm going to do another one anyway. So that guy's going to attack... Uh, three misses. That guy's going to attack. One hit. It's blocked. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. This guy's going to go one, two, three. This guy's going to go one, two, three, four. So on Yara. Uh, all miss. I think she's two evasion. Yep. And on Olena. Uh, three hits. She suffers a bleed token. Those three hit locations are body, waste, body. Uh, one, two, three, four, one, two. It's the end of the monster turn. He's got three wounds left. Uh, is going to spend a survival to surge. Does she get that survival back from the rawhide? She does not. One, two, three, and four. Yes, it's Legos. Love cheeky Legos at the top. Thank you. Uh, we'll shoot the bow at the spider. Two hits. One, two. Legos. It's a wound. It's not a crit. I think that's the whole leg set. I'll worry about that in a second. Uh, that is a failure. No, it's still a wound. But it's not a crit. Spidiculis plunges to the ground. He gets knocked back. Suffers knocked back five. No worries. Uh, uh, who can we finish it off with? Uh, yeah, well, Alaria will just spend a survival. Has she got a shattered jaw? Nope. Just stand up. Him. He'll just move into here. Hit. Uh, that is a hit. Does he wound? He does, assuming that is not a trap, which it is not. That's it. That is it. We got the job done. Yeah, we, we managed that well. Um... The, the early bleed tokens were very scary, but yeah, just just focus on bandage control. Having Harvest Man is a really powerful ability because you can just run the run rings around the spiderlings, and uh, it was nice to have a little gun battery for Yara to sit on top of. So um, everyone got their proficiency points that matters. So let's see what we get. So we're gonna get. Four basic, which I'm not even going to draw because we get those taken away from us. We haven't invented scarification. So we don't get rival scar. We get eight spider killies. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We can also gain one additional one from their uh, thing. Uh, we're going to gain one hunt XP. Uh, we're going to gain uh, return and advance year. Everyone got their weapon proficiency points. We're also going to gain four weapon proficiency or three weapon proficiency points on Olena, who gains us dagger mastery. Well done, Olena. Uh, one, two, three. We gain dagger mastery, and that also gains us an iron. I'll do that in a second because we have to do settlement event and a story event. Um, we get a silken nervous system. So let's just do this stupid thing. 
And it is. If it's a murder, it's okay. Oh my god, another clean mist. Four. Thank goodness. <laughs> I was thinking to myself, I don't want to do another fucking hunt. Um, Alright. Someone gains three understanding and one permanent luck, minus permanent luck. I don't care who it is, it's it's Nymeria. It's it's Rickon. Rickon, you're useless, mate. Minus one permanent luck. Three understanding. I'm not even gonna do a wake for you, mate, because you're dead. You're effectively you're dead to me, Rickon. You're dead to me. Story event. Let's do the tomb, part three. No, nope, part two. Another clinging mist. What a cool piece of artwork. Part two. The construction is demanding. Archive all basic resources brought back by returning survivors. There are not fewer than four people. The departing survivors gain one luck token. Returning survivors roll 1d10. All right, uh, we've also got to do taken from the spider. Uh, so the spider is going to take someone. It's going to be Olena, I think. No, we don't want it to be Olena. We don't want it to be Yara. We don't want it to be Belwas. Uh, we'll, we'll make it be. Yara's our thing. Yeah, I'm actually going to send Olena. She's got... I don't really need her anymore. Um, so she's not a returning survivor. Um, we are taken, uh, she's unavailable, we are taken to Lantern Year 25, we're probably going to go and, probably going to go and rescue her, but, okay, so we've only got three returning survivors, it's Belwas, Elaria, and, um, Yara, so Belwas, Gets a seven, skips the next hunt. Elaria gets a seven, skips the next hunt. And Yara gets an eight, gains one permanent strength. Sure, why not? Uh, why are you skipping the next hunt? What from? I don't think Belwas is skipping the next hunt. Belaria is skipping the next hunt. Great. All right. Again, we get a plus one luck token for departing survivors. Beautiful. Facing a manhunter level four. Uh, so we just need to make. What do we need to make the? Oh, did we get the leg? Did we get the leg thing? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Nah, one short. There it is. Couldn't have got it. Can't believe I got that on a level one and couldn't get it on a level three. With the amount of the amount of AI control I had. Crazy. Um, all right. Oh, departing so I was getting two luck tokens. So we get one resource of our choice. I think we're just going to take a... Exoskeleton, whatever. Spider coolies. One serrated fangs, one eyeballs, one small appendages, one Chitin, one. Large appendage, one. Small appendage, one. Thick web silk, one. Spinnerets, one. Venom sack, one. We also gain uh, the silken nervous system. And that's that one there. Okay. Uh, what do we need to make that thing anyway? I probably should have been harvesting those little little things. 
the silk mill, the bodysuit. Oh, you need five silk. Damn. All right. Well, I'll have to try and make that next time, I guess. Try and harvest some silk from those little doobies. All right. Well, that is the uh, end of this lantern year, friends. We've just got five endeavors to spend. Uh, I'm not really concerned about any of the innovations left in the deck. So, heart flute, no. Bloodletting, maybe. Sculpture, maybe. I mean, sculpture would be good, I suppose, to put a thing down. But no, that's fine. We're going to do storytelling. We're going to do shrine. And we're going to do... Oh, we get a filleting table. We get an advanced thing. Uh, we'll do... Nightmare training, no. Uh, don't think there's anything we need to do, friends. So uh, let's just sacrifice some dudes to clear some disorders on some of our key survivors, I guess. So. Uh, Alaria, she's got uh, no disorders, so she's fine. Drogo, he's got Destined, so let's try and clear Destined. A four. Uh, a seven. So we clear Destined. Boom. We lose someone. They die. It's, uh, it's poor Egret. How unfortunate for you, Egret. You're dead. We don't need to worry about that. Um, yeah, look. I mean, we could clear Belwas's weak spot, but he's always going to be departing with armor, so it's not really a, not really a concern. We could clear Olena's stuff, but she's not even present. Tywin, no disorders. So at this stage, we're probably pretty sweet. Yeah, I'm just going to call it there. We're just going to do storytelling and shrine. So let's uh, let's crack those two up right now. There is shrine. There is storytelling. So shrine. Everyone gets one armor. Storytelling. Someone will get an understanding potentially. It'll be John maybe. Uh, all departing survivors gain three insanity. Outstanding. Friends, it's been a pleasure. Good hunt that one. Happy with how we how we managed to work through that. So I'm looking forward to the showdown with the boss. I'm ready to get there now. We've got a couple of what do we got? One, two, three, four, four fights left before we get to the finale. So feel good about the finale. Uh, uh, we might just go out for a spider again. I think this year rescue Olena. See if we can get those silk. So. That'll be, oh, yeah, maybe we should go a level two. Don't need to go a level three. We've got everything we need. Um, yeah. Reduce the risk. Anyway, friends, uh, that'll do us. I look forward to seeing you all in the next Lantern year, where we hunt a man hunter and a spider Big dinner.